Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. We are going to break down the cinematic trailer for the new game, Farming Simulator 25, frame by frame, um, and try to figure out kind of what's gonna be coming next. Some of these features have already been just clearly and blatantly announced by Giant Software, and other ones are kind of me just, uh, well, what would DJ say? Putting your tinfoil hat on to kind of get us here a little bit. So we are literally gonna go almost frame by frame, not quite, it'll take too long to do that. So we'll go chunk by chunk on the, uh, um, on the cinematic trailer and kind of take a look at things. But uh, before we get into that, if you have not pre-ordered the game yet, please do so using the link down below in the description or using code PharmerCop at checkout. It does go to support the channel at no additional cost to you. You can also pre-order the Year One Seasons Pass or get the Farming Simulator 25 bundle, which includes the game, the Year One Seasons Pass, and the pre-order bonus, which all of these will continue, or no matter how you order the game right now, you'll get the pre-order bonus, which is the Mac Don pack. So make sure you pre-order um, to get that for free. I'll talk more about what version you should order in a separate video if you don't really know which one you should get, or maybe you wanna check out the Collector's Edition. I'll show that off and kind of walk you through all those um, in a separate video. But for now, let's go frame by frame and analyze the trailer and talk about new upcoming features. I will play the trailer first, so feel free to skip ahead if you have not already seen it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play that and then I'll bring you guys back in. Rated E for everyone. All around the world, farmers know farming is an art. Like life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising, too. But sometimes it's about being at the right place at the right time. A wise man once said that the best lessons are learned under the wide open sky. I think the same thing can be said about our art. Yeah, it can be messy, but it's always beautiful. So beautiful it can help you see yourself and the world in all new ways. The art of farming, the soil is the canvas, the seeds are the paint, and the harvest is the masterpiece. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty darn good. Is it missing something? You're too cute to eat. Maybe some fresh spinach for a change? All right, so I have some notes here. We're going to go frame by frame here. I have the trailer pulled up. Um, we're going to start it off again. I'm going to be going through it and stopping it as we go. Um, so at the beginning of the trailer, we do get a summary of kind of what's going to be happening coming in the trailer, and we'll break down all those different parts here in a second. All right, so we're starting off here. They are cooking rice, which is a confirmed new crop in the new game and a blog post by Giant Software. We don't know they're cooking rice necessarily right now, but, but we do know that's coming. So that's been confirmed there. We'll keep going. So I don't have anything with the 15. I was trying to get some sort of significance to it outside of it being a part of a timer. I don't have anything on that number 15 there that's part of that kind of at the beginning. There. So I have no idea if that's something or not. Uh, I thought a lot about it. Can't think of anything uh, with that. So, uh, but now you can see we're, we're getting ready to travel to, um, it does say talking about farming around the world as well, I should note, and we know an East Asian map is going to be added. Plus, we will have a new North American map and a Central European map, which will likely be Zalanka. Um, but yeah, can't think of an importance to number 15. And here we are in Asia. Like life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising They missed their too. vehicle. Now, 
actually going back on this just a little bit here. I don't know if that's going to be a new vehicle or not. I can't tell what kind of vehicle that is. I'm assuming they'll have some stuff added in to kind of fit in with uh, kind of with the Asian map and stuff like that. Some new brands, new equipment. So um, I don't know. That could be just another lizard pickup, something or other, or it could mean nothing. So who knows with that? Um, but yes. All right. They missed it. And right here, we get our first teaser of one of the new animals. This is a water buffalo, which is a confirmed new animal in the coming game. So you'll be able to raise these bad boys. Um, this is the only new animal that is absolutely confirmed, but they do say that others will be included in addition to this one, in addition to the ones that we already have. So we already have chickens, cows, horses, sheep, and pigs. Now we have water buffalo, and it does say there'll be more, but they haven't announced what those are gonna be yet. And I don't really see any specific hints in this video to more new animals, but we'll have to just wait and kind of figure out what they have and what they add in the future here. So we'll keep going. But sometimes it's about being at the right place at the right time. And here's a big teaser right here. Obviously, we know rice is coming. I talked about it at the beginning already. That's the big new crop. Um, that's kind of uh, the centerfold of this trailer and what's happening in the new game. Um, so that's kind of a big deal for us. We can see a wet rice field and we can see someone planting rice. And we'll talk about the piece of equipment they're using here in a second. All right, so this guy right here, we have a pretty clear visual of it. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see it says Iseki, um, and then it says J-A-P-A. -A. I'm assuming that's Japan or something like that, some sort of, because it is a Japanese branch so that might say something over there. Um, now, I did some research on this and kind of figured out what it was. Um, so the new machine that I believe it is, I'm going to show it up here on your screen. This is the rice planter that's made by Iseki. That is kind of what I think it's going to be. Um, there is also a screenshot by Giants that kind of shows us a little bit better, so I'll put that up right now. There, you can take a look at that. Giants does say that over 400 machines will be in the base game from 150 brands, and it will include specialized machines for the new Asian agricultural, such as, well, this Iseki. That's not part of the blog post. It's just me saying I'm assuming this Iseki is one of those specialized machines. Seems fairly obvious, um, so they're doing that. We'll just keep going. Plant and rice. Very cool. That was that screenshot image right there. Turn around. Now it turning around, I know it's a side note, I read a little bit about the machine. That is uh, that is part of what it can do and everything like that. Um, it can turn around on a dime. That was one of its advertised features, which is pretty cool. Now here, I didn't think too much of this. We can see the weather starting to go poor in the background. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, this is them taking a photo, kind of like you'd see on a phone or anything like that. I don't know if this has a significance. Maybe there'll be a photo mode or something like that. That would be pretty cool. On the left-hand side, we see like a little stopwatch thing. We see the turn the camera around. We see the flash button. We see mail there, like an email or something. I don't or send it or share it or whatever. I don't know if this is anything to do with anything, but it could. So you never know. Um, but yes. Okay. We'll keep going here. Boom. So lightning takes off in the background. We got some crazy weather there, and now it is just pouring rain on them. Um, so this is this is important here. This is important. Uh, Giants has said the new Giants Engine 10 will have dynamic weather, so hopefully weather that actually affects things in our fields and things like that. So hopefully we're going to see that. Um, and they also say they're going to add distance fog, enhanced shadows, and a big one for you guys is ground deformation. It's not going to be like mud runner kind of style or snow runner style, but it'll be a step in that direction. I know that's a big feature you guys request. So they actually are thinking to do something kind of like that. Don't expect it to be as intense in that and don't expect to be able to maybe scoop dirt up and move it around. Don't expect that. Maybe, but I wouldn't hold your breath on that. Um, so the, they are using the Giants engine still, but they've upgraded again and they continue to upgrade it. The engine is, it's basically a new engine at this point compared to what they started with. It's a lot better. Um, they do say, and more features will come with the new Giants engine as well, but haven't really um, announced what those are, but we'll keep watching. A wise man once said that the best lessons. Now, right here, holding on to a little grass stalk, maybe a rice stalk, I'm not a plant expert, might be what they're holding on. They kind of look at each other like they have a good idea. They're getting ready to travel home right now, and we'll see that in a second. Um, I don't know if this is a hint to like flooding the grass because it's pouring rain on them and doing that. Um, we will see that in a little while um, here as probably a new feature. I don't know if this is kind of hinting at that or if it just means nothing. I learned under the wide open sky. All right, they're back. So here's a big deal here. This is the Steiger 715. 
um, which should be coming in the new game. There's also a screenshot that Giants has of it. Um, so I'll put up, this is this is what I think it is right here, the Stagger 715, put that up on your screen. It's the new case, um, quad track, uh, which is pretty cool, super powerful, all that good stuff. And then uh, here's kind of the uh, screenshot that they showed as well, which kind of confirms that it's coming in the game. It looks like this guy right here, and I, I can't think of anything else it could possibly be. Um, but yeah, so new case coming to the game. Not a surprise at that same incoming. It's in the game now in FS22 as a mod, but not in the base game. I think the same thing can be said about all. Now right here, I'm going to pause it on that cultivator. So I didn't think anything much of it at first, but if you look at the very bottom, just to the left of the tire, it says a word in yellow. Now, I can't really read that on there, and if you guys can, that's impressive. But I believe that is a Summers Cultivator, specifically a Summers Super Chisel, which I put up on your screen right now. And that is a new brand of farming simulator. It's not in the previous version of the game or FS22. At least it's not in the base game. I don't know if there's mods. I can't remember or not, but uh, that is a new brand coming. So um, that's another kind of hinter at that and kind of a, a spoiler alert there. So um, notice that there for you. We keep going. We go back to our rice fields and here they are flooding them. So. This is probably going to be a new feature as part of the rice cultivation. I don't know if it'll be a required step or a way to get better yield or anything like that. I'm no expert on it. So um, this is kind of a big deal, I think, to have this. We've seen this uh, or kind of versions of this on maps in the past um, that have rice cultivation added and stuff like that. So it's cool to see this as kind of a base game feature. But it's always beautiful. So beautiful, it can help you see yourself and the world and all... This right here is a big deal. This is probably one of the biggest deals in here, at least in my opinion, because I think this opens up the doors to a lot of things. Here we have a dirt bike. Uh, we have had stuff like this as mods before, but never a base game dirt bike. We've had trucks and stuff, but all lizard branded. This is a specific brand. You can see on there, it's a, a Prila, uh, or a, a, yeah, Prilia, I think. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, uh, but it's a branded bike. And here's a kind of a photo of uh, that website that they come from the Aprila. So they have different dirt bikes and different road bikes. So maybe there'll be some road bikes and stuff like that. But it's still cool to see it. Some of you guys say this isn't really part of farming. That's fine. You can say whatever you want. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm excited about it. Um, this may mean in the future, though, since we're now getting a branded vehicle, that they might be able to do more with maybe we see branded cars, four wheelers, pickups. I don't know. I could be stretching it there, but we'll kind of see um, as we go forward. But this is, I think, a pretty big deal for the game. Here we got rice growing. Nothing special there. It's just that's probably what we'll see when we have rice growing on our fields. And you also can see, too, and our big thing here is that now actually I'll go back 10 seconds here so you guys can see it a little bit. We'll go forward past the dirt bike. There we go. So beautiful it can help you see yourself. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're right in dirt bike. Cool. All right. Look how wet the ground is right now and look how it dries out as it goes forward. See, there's a lot at the very end. Of course, I just stopped it just a second too late. There's a lot less water on the ground at the very end. That could mean something, nothing, I don't know. All right, here, they're rocking and rolling, doing their thing. That is a John Deere 9R. I don't think it's anything special. It looks like a 440. If you look really closely, uh, which I did, you can see 440 on the side of the tractor and 9R on the side of the tractor. So that would explain that. Um, but so I don't think anything special there. But in the art of farming, right here, right here, pulling a uh, auger wagon. That is a J&M brand. That may have come as mods, I'm not sure, but it is not a base game brand to FS22. I've checked that. So that looks like a new brand. And here's kind of a picture of their website up there. So you guys want to go check it out. Um, that's kind of what the real life version looks like. So that's a new brand of grain cart that's coming to the game. Um, I don't know if they make other things or not, but that's pretty cool. The seeds are the paint. Couple things here. So first off, the John Deere Harvester. I don't think there's any new special magic John Deere Harvester or anything like that. I don't know if there's anything special there. Maybe. No, no. Um, it does seem odd to not have anything other than the grain cart be spoiled here. So that's why and then John Deere 9R 440, that's already in the game. So I don't think that's anything special. So it leads me to believe that like the harvester, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be something. I haven't a clue. Um, but another thing to think about, too, especially with the Macdon coming. And I kind of am just realizing this now. Um, this might be nothing either. I'm not super familiar. So we've had swath thing. It looks like the grain is fine. See, see how yellow that grain is in the background? That looks like ready to harvest what we're used to. This stuff is green. So this could be that swathing is coming in the game. I don't know how swathing exactly works, but they look like they're harvesting it in a green state, which is different than normal. Um, and we do have like the Macdonald pack and stuff like that. So swathing might be a feature in the new game. We'll just kind of have to wait and see if it's announced. 
Um, but the other thing, In the harvest. these birds. We have black birds that fly around, but we haven't seen white birds. This could be just nothing. They look nice for the trailer, or it could be something. I don't know. So what I think is that maybe they're going to add different colors of birds or different types of birds out and about on the maps. They added uh, storks in Zalanka. So maybe they're going to add, well, some white birds that fly around like the blackbirds to do so we have more stuff to annoy us as we're farming and stuff like that. Could be nothing, but you never know. He's the masterpiece. All right, here we get to the end here. Nothing special here. There are a couple other hints, though, so stay tuned for those. All right, chicken turns the timer off. We're eating rice. Maybe some rice productions. I'm assuming they probably will, since Giants does say there's going to be new uh, productions coming to the new game and also construction projects that are going to be coming to expand your business opportunities is how they put it. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Is it missing something? Now there, is it missing something? They look like chicken and rice is a very common dish. They look at the chicken like they're going to eat the chicken. Uh, the chicken sounds delicious with rice. Um, so I don't think this is what it might be, but because um, the, they hint another crop here in a second to put with the rice instead of the chicken. But uh, maybe they're going to have butchering of animals. I doubt it because we've never seen that. So I highly doubt it. I think that that is not going to happen, but maybe maybe that's what they're hinting here. No idea. Uh, but let's keep going. We have one final thing that they hint at the very end. Chicken scared of getting eaten, of course. You're too cute to eat. Maybe some fresh spinach for a change. And there, right at the very end, they talk about maybe having some fresh spinach for a change, and they say they're also not going to eat the chicken, which also leads me to believe that we're not going to be able to butcher chickens. But you never know. Um, so they said that there will be more than 20 new crop types in the game. And most uh, we have uh, the most we've ever had in a farming simulator game as it released, which is pretty impressive. And we know for sure they've confirmed spinach as a new crop and rice. So those are the two we know now. And water buffalo is a new animal. So we'll kind of see. Maybe there'll be some more crops that they're going to announce. Maybe there'll be some more animals. I'm assuming more animals because they kind of hint strongly that they're going to put more animals in. But we'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, but regardless of that, that's what I got for you guys. This is my uh, tinfoil hat time looking through the uh, the uh, cinematic trailer. Uh, just piece by piece. Other people will notice other things that I missed, I'm sure, and things like that. But we'll kind of have to see uh, what we have in the future and going from there. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.